today on what it's like white whale edition 1972 checker marathon golden 50th anniversary edition wagon but before getting into all of it i'm jay welcome to what it's like the automotive channel that puts the spotlight on the cars that often get overlooked and not talked about we feature the classics vintage some exotics we love the orphan cars and cars off the beaten path we dive in deep with specs period ads, button switches, and knobs. But most importantly, we show what these cars are like. If that sounds like a channel that you will totally dig, subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to never miss a video. I found this car at the Gilmore Auto Museum Cruise Inn, which happens every Wednesday night between the hours of 5 and 8 p.m. between the months of May and September. You can expect to see anywhere between 500 to 1,000 cars there. They have great food, a live band. It was a great midweek family activity and definitely worth checking out, especially if you live in the area. Checker was based in Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's best known for making taxi cabs, but they made other vehicles in their 89 year run. The original name to Checker Motors was the Checker Cab Manufacturing Company, founded in 1922 with the merger of two pre-existing companies, Commonwealth Motors and Markin Auto Body. At the time of its conception, they were located in Chicago. In 1923, they moved to Kalamazoo and renamed Checker Motors in 1958. Checker is known for its taxi cabs. They made other vehicles, mostly for commercial use throughout the years. During the 30s, they made trailers for Sears Roebuck. In 1956, taxi sales started to decline, so they went to the consumer market. Checker introduced the Marathon in 1960, and it was produced until 1982. It's worth mentioning that they did make changes, but the changes were very minimal. They basically produced this car for like 22 years with very minimal changes, much like a Volkswagen Beetle or a Porsche from that era. Very minimal changes throughout its lifetime. Could be had as a four-door sedan or a four-door wagon. 1972 was a big year for Checker. It marked the 50th anniversary. And to commemorate that, Checker offered the 50th anniversary, golden anniversary edition, which could be had in either the four-door sedan or the four-door wagon, which is a super rare package because there's only said to be 45 of those ever made. I'm guessing between the four-door sedan and the four-door wagon. Let's talk specs. 203 inches long, 76 inches wide, 62.75 inches tall. It rides a wheelbase of 120 inches. It weighs 3,816 pounds. Price, $4,113, which is equivalent to you spending $29,850.05 in the year 2023. Total, 1972 checker production. Lots of conflicting information with this one. I've seen anywhere between 5,600 to 6,000. I also saw Marathon slash Deluxe was 850 cars, but that's not including the taxis. 45 Marathon 50th Anniversary Editions. Moving on to engines. So the engine, drivetrain, and interior of this car was all supplied by Chevy or GM. Lots of different conflicting information on the engines. I'm only going to go with the engine that's in this one, and that is a 350 cubic inch displacement V8, 5.7 liters, 165 horsepower, 4,000 RPM, 280 pound-feet of torque at 2,400 RPM. When mated to a Borg Warner 3-speed automatic, 0-60 to 60 could be had in 10.8 seconds. Theoretical top speed, 101 miles per hour, while achieving an average fuel economy of 13 to 15 miles per gallon. And these are all baseline numbers. Final gear ratio wasn't stated, so that could drastically impact fuel economy. So let's talk styling. Just look at how this is styled. It has the same exact front end as a checker cab. It's got the quad headlights, turn signal indicators. Look at this grill and bumpers. And the checker logo. Just look at all of the lines. It's a super clean, super clean design. 
at this line here, how it goes over the wheel well. See this line, how it comes up over top of the wheel well. It runs the rocker. Nice belt line trim. As well as it says marathon badge there. Look at the rear view mirror placement. Super smooth. It's got this almost like a fender bulge for the rear fender. It just protrudes out ever so slightly. Comes back. The rear bumpers, look at how they are fitted into the body. Look at all of this bright work here. Gas cap, all these body lines. Tons of memorabilia in the back of this one. Take a look at this door panel, armrest, as well as door handle to pull the door shut, door handle to get out, window crank for the big window, and operates like this. This door has a nice door frame. Coming down inside the pedal box down here, emergency brake, emergency brake release, high beam switch, brake pedal, gas pedal. Just take a look at this interior. Here's what over the hood impression looks like. Here's what first person over the hood looks like. Let's take a real quick gander at the greenhouse or the pillar two glass ratio. It's actually really nice and airy in this vehicle. On to the button switches and knobs. Moving from left to right, the one at the very top, unknown. Brake warning light right below it. Amp meter, headlights, oil pressure, speedometer with odometer inside of it, coolant temperature gauge, gasoline gauge, wipers with wash feature, lighter, heat and ventilation controls, ashtray, heater, and radio. The rear door is a lot like the front door, only it's in the back. There isn't an armrest on this door but you could probably use this handle as an armrest if you wanted to door handle to pull the door shut door handle to get out window crank for the big window i'm not gonna put that one down because it has a flag on it this is how much space you would have in the rear seat so there's an ashtray here in the center so look at the transmission tunnel, or lack thereof. It's pretty flat floor. So this is how much space you have between my knee and the front seat. There's tons of space. Look at all of the creature comforts. There's nice lights up here, as well as coat hook. There's a light in the center, as well as a light over there, as well as another coat hook on the other side. What I look like sitting in the back. We got tons of head space. Getting underneath the hood, the release is right here. There is a secondary catch and it's right there. There it is, Chevy 350 sitting down inside there. Alternator, battery. This one looks like it has air conditioning. Yeah, normal. Power steering. As well as master cylinder brake booster with dual master cylinder. On the positive side, iconic US brand that wasn't in Detroit. Tons of space, comfortable both front and rear. These are built like tanks. The wagons are quite rare. Against it. They are rust prone. As far as the golden anniversary wagons go, this very well might be the last one left. So getting one, this is the only one there is. Now it's time for Would You Rather. Two scenarios today. In the first scenario, would you rather have a 1972 GMC Suburban or 
1972 Checker Marathon Station Wagon or 1972 International Travel All. I'm going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Moving to the second scenario. In your chosen ride, what would you be listening to? The Bee Gees or Led Zeppelin or Queen? Going to leave this here for a minute if you need more time. Moving on to name that tune. First person to give both the name of the band and song title correctly will have their comment pinned to the top of the comment section. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below or check out our Facebook group that correlates with this YouTube channel. If you don't have Facebook, send me an email. All of that will be linked in the description below. Just know I appreciate all the support. And until next time, here are some scenes for our next episode. I am so excited about this episode. I've been looking for almost a year to feature an Imperial. I finally found one. 1962 Imperial. That's what's coming up next on What It's Like. Tune in tomorrow at 4.30 Eastern Time, Pennsylvania time to catch that episode. And until then, toodaloo! I'm just mad about Saffron. Saffron's mad about me. Hey, Chloe, I accidentally spilled your mellow yellow.